Hello everyone and welcome back to another coding video. So in this video I want to show you how you can get to the yarn map source code of Minecraft, which is my preference uh, when it comes to looking at Minecraft source code, because as well as being like nicely made, uh, the mappings are pretty complete. Um, this is also where you build your fabric mods, so considered a win-win. But anyway, let's get into the video. Well, first of all, I want to mention, uh, sorry for not uploading for a while. Um, I've just been having a lot of work, uh, like in real life with school and uh, with work and stuff. So yeah, that, that's the only reason I've been not uploading for a while. I hadn't forgotten about this or anything. So yeah, there should be more videos coming soon. It's just that for the last like week or so, I've had to been studying a lot uh, for tests and such. So yeah. But anyway, the way that you actually do this is close out of your IntelliJ project um, and you'll be greeted by this sort of screen where you have all your um, mods listed out here. If you don't have any mods, then that's great. It's totally fine. You don't need any of this. It's just, uh, yeah, the IntelliJ welcome screen. So yeah, you should probably install IntelliJ or Eclipse. Eclipse should work for this as well. I just haven't used it as much, but it should work. I know people make mods in Eclipse. At least I'm pretty sure. But anyway, IntelliJ is my favorite. So the first thing you want to do here is uh, in this button here, click get from VCS, so version control. So what this is basically going to let you do is if you have a URL of a repository, so for example, fabric example mod, which we're going to be using, then you can just type it in here and it's going to clone that uh, project and you can start making a mod here. We're not going to be actually making a mod. We're just going to be looking at Minecraft source code, which happens to be in libraries uh, when you make mod here. As well as the fact that it's just nice that later if you want to perhaps make a mod or something, then you have it right there. You can just start coding right there. But anyway, in the URL section, what you want to do is type in https uh, colon slash os github dot com slash fabric mc slash fabric dash example dash mod and this is just the url for the fabric example mods uh github page so yeah you don't have to type it out you can just paste it in just search up fabric example mod and paste in the url but it should be this and then uh select a directory here i'm just going to change this so that it's going to be like fabric uh test mod or something like that i don't know uh, just name it whatever you want, really. I like to put fabric in the beginning, just lets me know it's a fabric mod. Not that I've done any forge mods or anything, but like, just lets me know that it's a fabric mod. If you're wondering what's here, uh, I just blurred out my name. It's just the path to wherever I want my mod to be in. You can choose this to be wherever you want. And this, by the way, is like, a, it's going to be a new file. So it's going to make a new folder called uh, fabric test mod in this location. So... Yeah, I just blurred that piece out there because there's my name, so yeah. Whatever, anyway, now you just click clone, and that's going to clone the project here, or clone the repository, I don't know what the uh, term is, I forgot. Anyway, uh, it's going to ask you if you should trust the project, obviously trust the project. If you don't trust the project, uh, you shouldn't be downloading it. But anyway, uh, now it's just going to be building your fabric mod. And this might take a while, it might take like a minute, it might take like 10 minutes, so depending on your computer and your internet speed, because it's got to be downloading uh, stuff from, from Git and stuff like that, so anyway, I'm just going to skip to when everything's finished and show you what that's supposed to look like. Alright, so once it's done, it should look something like this, you should see like a green check mark here. And in general, like it looks like stuff, nothing's going on, right, so, so that's when you pretty much know it's done. Uh, so anyway, experimental feature alert, I don't care about that. And from here, if you want to see the source code, like if that's all you care about, all you need to do is just go down here to external libraries and open up one of these uh, library folders that looks like this, net minecraft, uh, minecraft maps 1.18 or whichever version you're doing this in, uh, net.fabricmc yarn, uh, whatever, so the version. And in here you go here, uh, open up net and uh, then here is your Minecraft source code. So that's pretty much all you need to do. Now let me cover a couple of other things. So first of all, let's say you don't care about this version source code, you want to see another one. In that case, you would have to go to gradle.properties and then go to this link, fabricmc.net uh, slash versions.html. And in here, uh, what you can do 
is go here and choose any version you want. So let's say I want to go back to uh, like 1.14 or something, just saying it doesn't go below uh, this snapshot because yarn mappings only started like around 1.14, so you're not going to get like really early versions with this. But let's say we want to do like 1.14.4, that's like when we got the modern village mechanics going, and you copy this thing that says, uh, that's under gradle.properties, uh, copy this stuff, and paste it here, so it should be like that. And then go down here where it says gradle.properties. First copy this stuff. That's going to go in your fabric properties. So paste that there. Um, I like it to be like tabbed up like it was before. And then take the fabric version and also paste that right here into dependencies. So obviously paste uh, to replace. So yeah, and then from there what you want to do is go to gradle, go to tasks, go to fabric, and click gen sources. So that's going to generate your sources. And this is going to take probably a little bit less than what the initial build took because you're only generating new source. But uh, this is still might take a while, so yeah, just be patient. Uh, so this will be your new source code. You can see if we open it up uh, in like for the blocks, you don't see any of the new blocks. You don't even see bees, so that's kind of proof that it's like 1.14, so yeah. But Anyway, um, that's pretty much all I need to know in terms of uh, using the source code. I don't know how to make a mod, uh, I've made a video on that before, so you can go check that one out. Uh, the beginning is a bit different because I didn't use the version control to get all this here. But once you've uh, loaded the project, then just follow what I say in that video and that can build you your new mod. By the way, also, let me know if you want me to make actual like coding tutorials, like how to code, because before I've just been showing you the code and like how to set up your mod but i've never actually shown you how to mod so let me know if that be something you're interested in so yeah that's pretty much it uh just make sure to check out the discord server link is in the description and we're trying to hit 100 members so if you want to be a part of that and that's great we have awesome conversations there about technical minecraft and stuff relating to technical minecraft there so yeah it's really cool you should really check it out also make sure to check out crisp ai the link will be in the description but anyway, yeah guys, that's gonna be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.